Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Dude, this is called an initial value problem because they give you the derivative and you want to get back to the original function and they give you a point on the original function which we refer to as the initial value. If we're given ds dt, the derivative of s with respect to t, we're trying to find a function s of t which is going to be the antiderivative of ds dt with respect to t. In other words, the integral of the derivative of s is the function s. So we're going to find s of t equals the integral 8 sine squared t minus pi over 12 dt. Whenever you have a uh, sine squared, there's a little trick to integrating, which is to change it from a sine squared function using a double angle formula. Cosine of 2 theta can be written in several ways. One of them is in terms of sine squared of theta. And since we don't have an integral for sine squared and there's not a convenient choice of substitution to work with that, you're going to want to use this formula. You rearrange it so that you get sine squared by itself. 2 sine squared theta is going to be equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta, which means that sine squared theta is a half of 1 minus cosine 2 theta. In this case, theta is actually t minus pi over 12. So we're going to uh, replace sine squared t minus pi over 12 with 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2 times t minus pi over 12. So that's going to be the integral of 4 times 1 minus cosine of, and we're going to have 2t minus pi over 6 dt. Now I think I probably would go ahead and distribute that 4 and break the integral apart into two integrals, one for 4 dt and one for negative 4 cosine of 2t minus pi over 6 dt. So that's going to be the integral of 4 dt minus 4 times the integral of the cosine of 2t minus pi over 6 dt. And you can leave the 4 in or out of the integral. Coefficients can be brought through the integral symbol, whatever's more convenient. And the reason I'm mentioning that is I notice that um, I'm probably going to choose to do a u substitution and let u be the argument of the trig function. And if I do that, then what would the differential du be equal to? 2 dt, that's right. So what I could do is, since I needed 2 dt, is I could break this factor, this 4, into 2 times 2. So I would have everything I need in my integral. I would fa I would leave the two, one of the 2's out front, and I would put the other 2, just to make it clear, next to the dt. So we have du here, and we have u here. Okay, so we have the integral of 4 dt minus 2 times the integral of the cosine of u du. So the integral of 4 is just going to be 4t minus 2 times what's the antiderivative of cosine of u. So that's just um. going to be Sine sine of u. U. So we have 4t minus 2 sine u plus c, and we need to put the u back in, so that's going to be 4t minus 2 sine of what u is equal to, 2t minus pi over 6 plus c. Okay, so this is our function s of t that we were trying to find, except for the constant c. So the next thing we do is use that initial value, and to say that s of 0 is equal to 9 means that when t is 0, s is equal to 9. So we're going to plug those values into our functions. We're going to have 9 equals 4 times 0 minus 2 times the sine of 2 times 0 minus 5 over 6 plus c. So 9 is equal to 0 minus 2 times the sine of 
a negative pi over 6 plus c. The sign of negative pi over 6 is going to be we're in the fourth quadrant where the sign is negative. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So we're going to have 9 equals negative 2 times negative 1 half plus c. So that means 9 equals 1 plus c, which means c is equal to 8. So now we're able to complete our whole function. S of t is 4t minus 2 sine of 2t minus pi over 6 plus 8. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Ms. Hearn Mathematics, or click on the link to see more calculus videos.